What's up guys? So yesterday I cleaned up my workshop and I found this very old remote control in the car. So I saw there, there is no transmission gear inside. And the reason is the gear is broken. So three years ago I can't repair that. But now I have a 3D printer and I can test if a 3D printed gear works or didn't work. Okay, so first of all, the RC car, I think it's 15 years old, maybe. And there is not much electronic inside. There's just a steering servo and a pan tilt camera mounted for FPV and yeah the speed controller i removed it because it was a very old one but now i found a speed controller for dc motors but it's mounted at the moment on a big dc motor but i removed it i will remove it and mount it to the original motor from the rc car but now let's find out if it works I'm so proud with the result from the 3D print. What happened after the first ride? So, the gear, the 3D printed gear is, isn't very well, <laughs> but you see is half is okay and half is not okay. That means the gear from the motor wasn't very well to the same position. So now I have to change this gear 
from the mo motor and rotate it 180 degrees and uh, print a new gear and then test it again. So I changed the motor because the gear from the old motor it isn't very well and from this motor there is a gear mounted and this looks way better but it is smaller and the, mo the motor is, is larger and I have to mount a distance plate which I printed very fast. And now, let's check out if it works. The 3D printer gear works well as long as you drive carefully, so it's very nice for first person view. But you have to keep in mind that the gear is just a 3D printer gear and not a metal one. So it will broke earlier than the metal gear. If you liked the video then give it a thumb up. If you want to see more videos then subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.